In the morning light, our massive vessel skips along the rocky coast of southwestern Newfoundland. We drive north on the Trans-Canada Highway. The emerald hills of the Codroy Valley shimmer as we charge headlong towards our first adventure. Table Mountain lies just a short drive north of the town of Porta Basque. From the mountain's plateaus, we see winding sandy beaches and sprawling meadows. A half hour drive east finds us in the community of Rose Blanche. A couple of friendly locals guide us safely through the fog. And the centuries old Rose Blanche Lighthouse stands guard against turbulent seas. Yet more wilderness awaits as we ascend the challenging Starlight Trail. Grasses roll like water across the towering hillsides. relaxing perspective. We head north of Porta Basque for a visit to Codroy. The Grand Codroy Wetlands Area is home to hundreds of species of birds. Another ride along the off-road trail. Just north of Codroy, Robinson's offers excellent ATV opportunities for those who want to get down in the mud. As we head further north, the Port-a-Port -Port Peninsula's scenic serenity gives time to reflect on our adventures on the southwest coast an area filled with opportunities for unbridled adventure, as well as the chance to slow down and take it all in. One final stop in the towns of Burgio and Ramia give true meaning to the phrase, getting away from it all. Next stop, Corner Brook and the Humber Valley, the aerial gateway and social hub of Western Newfoundland. After a gorgeous drive through the Bay of Islands, we pause to cool off in the waters of Margaret Water Park in Corner Brook. A visit to Captain Cook's monument and a round of golf fill out the remainder of our day. Just outside the city limits, we delve deep below the earth through ancient limestone caves. Hundreds of meters in, the sun's light is lost and an underground river crashes deafeningly through the tunnels. From the dark hideaways of worms straight to the nests of birds, we escape back into blue skies and fly over the Humber Valley along the highest zip lines in Canada.
but adrenaline-fueled adventure isn't all that's on offer here. A local insectarium gives us the chance to brush up on our knowledge of creepy crawlies. After a long day of crawling and soaring, it was time to sit back and take in one of the many charismatic cultural experiences. The Humber Valley is packed with things to see and do. When it's time to explore your wild side, this is the place to be. Under a vast blanket of stars, we make camp in the wilderness of Gross Moor National Park. Our first stop is the town of Woody Point. Here, one can enjoy village comforts while soaking in the natural wonders of this World Heritage Site. The long arms of Bombay stretch deep into the National Park. We hop in a small boat for a tour of the calm waters. As we drift through the peaceful inlet, the silhouettes of the Tablelands and Grossmoor Mountain tower in the distance. Back in town, it's time for an experience at the local theater, followed by more musical magic in the forest. find the inhabitants of Norris Point enjoying life with equal fervor. A boat tour of Western Brook Pond shows off the crown jewel of this region. A lake 16 kilometers long stretches through cliffs that loom hundreds of meters over the clear waters. The Gross Moor area is one of ever surprising opportunity. The park is just as full of incredible culture and communities as it is nature. You never know what you may uncover in this ancient land. journey past barren rock fields and mighty waters. Here on the northern peninsula we find some of the most productive salmon rivers Newfoundland and Labrador has to offer. With dozens of waterways to choose from, it's easy to stake a claim away from the crowds. Before long, you could be in for the fight of your life.
farthest reaches of the northern peninsula lies the town of St. Anthony. In early summer, massive icebergs drift past this pleasant community. It's all too easy to hop on one of the many boat tours in the area and see one of these floaty mountains up close. And it's more than just icebergs. Every year, thousands of whales come here to feed in the cool waters. A half hour drive from St. Anthony, we make our way to the community of Lansom Meadows. Here was discovered the first evidence of Vikings in North America. Enthusiastic reenactors live the Viking life daily for the enjoyment and education of visitors from all over the world. The region is rich with history. In the town of Conch, a 200-foot tapestry illustrates in vivid detail the legacy of the people of Newfoundland. Each day brings new excitement here on Newfoundland's northern peninsula. Here, there are stories of people that date back thousands of years told against the backdrop of some of nature's most majestic spectacles. 